Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Remaining all the testing types are mandatory for any mobile app. And to do this performance testing, we have a lot of tools. Like you can, you can do, I mean, you can use your performance test with a lot of tools. Even right, what will happen is uh, while developing this uh, Android itself, you can do your performance testing with the Android software itself. You have a lot of tools are there to do this performance testing. Yeah. It depends. See, in my SRS, if I am saying that security testing is mandatory, I have to do that. What I am saying is, security and performance testing is not mandatory for each and every application. This will be based on the project manager and client. If they wanted to do this performance and security, we will do that. However, right, remaining all the testing types are very mandatory. That's what I am trying to say. On Loadrunner, I don't think Loadrunner will support this uh, mobile app. Again, I'm not sure about 11.5. Still, I don't think 11.5 also will support uh, mobile apps. But what you can do is you can give it a chance with uh, JMeter. You can go with uh, JMeter, you can uh, give it a chance. JMeter will work for this uh, mobile application load. Test. Now, once I'm uh, good with this uh, right uh, requirements, I need to come up with a test plan. When you're writing your test plan also, it is also like kind of your uh, web application only. But when you compare with your, with your web application, right, there will be few things are uh, extra. You need to add few extra things. So here, right, see when you're here, yes, J meter, J meter, J meter. It's a open source tool. You can uh, give it a try. When you are writing your uh, test plan, yeah. When you are writing your uh, test plan, right? What you can do is, apart from your uh, regular plan, what you need to do is, you need to mention what are all the OS and what are all the OS versions you are targeting for the test. That means what kind of uh, operating systems you are targeting, like iOS, Android, Windows, Windows, you need to mention it. And also, what are all the OS versions? Like just now we said that, you see, it just now if you see this right here, clearly mentioned that like it needs to support with Android, iPhone and Windows. And also versions also clearly mentioned. So what you have to do is, while preparing your uh, test plan, make sure that right, you mention this. Otherwise, right, it will be a risky. If you are not mentioning, if you are simply testing and if you are giving the sign off, once it will go to the production, right, if any customer will come back saying that the app is not working, right, and if he is using some uh, like uh, uh, version which is not mentioned in the SRS, then you will get a right risk and all. So always say, right, mention this OS and OS versions, what kind of OS versions we are targeting for testing. And testing scope is very important. Like even though I'm having 11 modules, and right, I wanted to test only few 
features are few modules because of uh, test uh, because of timelines right the constant can be anything like because of resources or timelines right i wanted to test only few features then you need to mention clearly what kind of uh, features we are testing and yeah see mobile tester means right you are a tester tester means uh, test plan is very important everywhere it can be it can be mobile application testing it can be manual testing it can be automation testing it can be performance testing everywhere test plan is mandatory now screen size is also important because if you see that the uh, screen size means that right, when you have your smartphones just imagine that right, if you are having two smartphones you can see that screen size screen size will vary right when i am doing the testing i cannot test each and every screen size so i will clearly mention what kind of screen size we are targeting now timelines like timelines is nothing but like when uh, when you are starting your execution and when you are ending your execution like we will mention that and test data like as usual like you can uh, get that uh, get that test data for your mobile application yeah screen size wait i will i have some slide okay i will show you that uh, what do you mean by screen size okay. right uh timelines are nothing but right say for example if we are planning for three bills and for each and every bill i have to clearly mention when my execution test execution will start and when my execution will end so if i am planning for three bills i have to give that uh, timeline for three bills and test data will be provided by the uh, client or developer or your peer so what i will do whenever i require my test data i will ask that uh, pm usually my point of contact is pm not developer <clears throat> as a qa right as a qa right always my point of contact is uh, pm i will go to pm whatever that requirement i require just i will go to pm and i will ask like uh, i need test data and uh, pm will provide the test data and if he don't have that test data then he will uh, coordinate with developers or business or client then he will come up with the test data and he will provide so always our point of contact is our uh, pm here testing scope is nothing but say for example right here again here actually right i have very aggressive timeline so i cannot test each and everything so what i will do right uh, what i will do is here right uh, i will skip few of the functionalities right which is uh, not mandated like right what i will do is uh, it jobs which is not that important because my timelines are very aggressive right let's skip it because right uh, what i will do i will say that uh, this it jobs and all right so we will go with the next release because right uh, we have very aggressive timelines and all and again right see if you are uh, having the test data also right it depends on the uh, what do you call uh, hierarchy how how hierarchy i mean uh, what kind of hierarchy your organization is following right here i am saying that uh, from my perspective right if i want to get any test data right i will say that i will go to my pm and i will get it say for example if you are working with the organization and there your hierarchy will be tester test lead pm then you will go to your next level is test lead test lead will coordinate with the pm so it totally depends on the hierarchy what kind of hierarchy your organization follows yeah you can use mobile testing for agile or what call it i mean but most of the times we will go with uh, agile only now here right a very important thing is devices and emulator because uh, mobile application testing is expensive if i want to test my app say for example if you are testing this hpk infosys with uh, different different apps just imagine right i want to test with samsung and then iphone right so many are sony motorola so many are there here i cannot uh, right i cannot buy all the physical devices to replace this physical devices what we will do is we will use this emulator we will talk more about this emulator going forward yes yes timeline is nothing but schedule yes so right here right we will talk more about this uh, 
emulator going forward because if you go to that uh, if you are joining as a mobile application testing mobile application tester most of the job will be done with the emulator but we will uh, test with at least one physical device right uh, if you are not testing with at least one physical device right i will never give i mean if you ask me i will never give the sign off until and unless one physical device is tested properly right again emulator means right it will emulate your physical devices but i will never uh, rely on it it's it's okay it's, it's it's good right see you can test with your emulator but when you compare with physical device obviously it's not accurate so in real in real uh, environment what we will do is we will test with uh, all the devices i mean if you want to test with the 10 uh, devices then what i will do i will go with the uh, 8 bit emulator and i will ask uh, two physical devices at least what is emulator i will talk about for example i mean for the time being right emulator is nothing but which emulate the real device that's the definition okay prasad how do we select uh, which which two physical devices and other emulators uh, how do we select that no 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 that, that is selecting and all right uh, like uh, say for example right uh, if you want to select what i will do is right uh, which are all the devices are uh, using by i mean which are all the devices are uh, used by more number of users i will select that's it there is no rule on it right so for example right what i will do is samsung mobiles are using by many of the users that then let's select the samsung mobile as a physical device that's it there is no rule on it okay so there will be a survey conducted uh, on the the marketing people right? yeah yeah they, i mean what we will do right like uh, when you are uh, testing that app right you know that uh, what kind of uh, mobiles are using by the users so based on that you can raise your request nothing else like right there is no rule on it okay yeah actually it's a good question actually yeah <laughs> okay fine thank you yeah now and also here right if you see this uh, device type like i am having so many device types like touch screen is there tablets are there slider is there Forty mobiles is there, uh, other T is there, like Flip is there. So many models are there, right? I cannot test each and everything. So what I will do, right? We will uh, test and also, okay, fine. So what I have to do is, I have to identify and I have to discuss with my team and what are all the device types we are targeting. based on that i will clearly mention in the test plan what kind of devices we are planning see uh, there is no question of uh, fast and all, right there is no question at all okay fine and lab setup also is uh, important for the big application uh, uh, like right again right i am requesting if you are not talking please go on mute right please if you are not talking go on mute so that it will be good thank you yeah see see there is no concept of fast and all okay now here right uh, you are asking like right phone with uh, qwerty and all right that is nothing but when you see your smartphone check that uh, keyboard in your mobile right check with your keyboard what kind of uh, keyboard you are having you have two kinds of keyboards one is first line i mean you can check in the keyboard the first row either qwerty or it is azerty that is a keyboards you can have a look like right after the session that right, what you can do you can uh, take one uh, your smartphone and then try to enter some value it will pop up some keyboard right you can check the keyboard what kind of keyboard it is having whether it is azerty or river qwerty so and lab the setup is placed in it how the letters are placed on the keyboard that yes yes yeah first you can see that first row you can see that first row how your letters are uh, popping up you can have a look okay hello, hello yeah yeah, I, yeah I, i just want to ask uh, in a real time does it provide you a sample device to test uh, yeah yeah uh, see see that is like right before uh, starting itself right in the test plan itself i will clearly mention this is what i am mentioning here devices and emulator means 
i will uh, ask my pm or team and then i will ask them how many devices they are providing based on that i will clearly mention in the test plan what are all the devices we are testing and what are all the devices we are testing with the help of emulator i will clearly mention here in some time i will show in excel also there you will get a clear picture okay fine and also sometimes so sometimes what will happen is i need some lab setup on say for example if you are testing a big group of patients and then you are testing with uh, multiple devices and if you are testing right, then what i will do is i will al always for lab setup again this is not mandatory this is optional and as usual like you can do your automation testing with your uh, the, i mean application and you need to clearly mention what is the testing you are targeting for this mobile app whether you are going with manual testing or you are going with uh, automation testing. hello professor yes uh, i have one question suppose there is a little bank they want to migrate uh, that application to mobile application how they will do do they prepare again test plan uh, sorry can you come again suppose there is a retail bank they want to yeah. do that window based application to mobile application do they prepare again test plan so they can update right they will update that uh, existing plan okay they will update that existing plan. fine fine next one is strategy like now i learn that uh, how to pre uh, prepare my test plan and all once that is see lab setup is nothing but right what i will do is here right here if it is a i mean very simple application and all right what you can do is you can test with uh, two devices and uh, like one emulator but sometimes what will happen is i wanted to test with huge number of devices that means each and every device available in the market i want to test that kind of situation right what i can do is i will use my lab here again someone is asking like what kind of automation tools can be used like in the last session i said like you can use your qtp 11.5 qtp 11.5 is already integrated with perfecto add in you can use that or you can use your uh, qtp with uh, t test add in that means expert test add in you can use it it's a commercial tool one second please sir huh? one second huh? sorry So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class The demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information If you still have more questions please feel free to call us Call us at 770 777 This is a United States number If you're calling from the UK call us at 020 337 One seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.